Absolutely amazing. What is going on, you beautiful, lovely, wonderful, untamed human being? Hope you're all doing wonderful today and having a fantastic day. So this is going to be something different to the channel. And hopefully you enjoy this series. This has been inspired by a content creator I watch that goes by Phase Jev. He actually started playing Bloodborne recently and it kind of kicked me in gear and made me feel like I should play it too. And I want to play it. I, I, it just... I don't know, it sparked something. Uh, anybody who's been around since the beginning of this channel will know that I started off playing Soulsborne games on this channel, and Bloodborne was the very first series I started on this channel, but I never completed it. I have 200 or so hours in this game already personally myself so i've made it about halfway through i've never beat the game completely which means we will reach points in the game where i do not know what the f i am doing so if you are a bloodborne veteran and you want to throw some tips out there feel free to throw some tips out there and let me know some things i do not know or if i miss some things but let's get into it let's get this started i'm going to play offline because i want to do everything solo the first time i played through this i actually used a lot of summons and i summoned a lot of people but this time I just want to grind it myself. So let's get in here and kill some beasts. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. All right, character creation. Let's go ahead and create our character. We're going to name him Danny, because, you know, that's how it goes. Um, do, 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 young mask. Mal Anyways, I don't know what that is. Ordinary, happy upbringing, average abilities. Uh, I'm going to skip all this and I will come back when we enter back into the game. All right, Esofka's Clinic. So as I said, I have about 200 hours in this game, so I'm not new to it. However, I will be rusty and I may forget where some things are and <clears throat> yeah, just different places to go. This won't be a full-on, crazy, get-everything-100% playthrough. So, don't scream at me. But I do have a weapon that I want to use, and it's going to be from a character I have to kill later on. Yeah. And revenge. Alright, we're off to a good start. Normally, that guy would destroy you. Cause I don't have any weapons right now. I won't have any weapons until I get to this next part. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm gonna forget so much. It's great. The one thing I like about not playing these games so constant is the fact that I, when I come back to them, it's like a new game all over again. It's great. And I've got, like I said, hours into this game. So it's not anything new to me. Would 100% love to see a 60 FPS remake at a higher resolution. I think that would be freaking ow epic but as jev said as well in his videos you eventually just kind of forget about the 30 fps and it feels natural but i think that comes from years of gaming and we were stuck on consoles at 30 frames per second for quite some time for a lot of games The yawn, goodness gracious. Alright, so we're just gonna pick the saw cleaver. I'm gonna go with the blunderbuss instead. I like having that shotgun spread. It gives you a larger chance of parry. Let's hear what this guy has to say. Aha! You must be the new hunter. 
Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home for now. I am... German friend to you, Hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Are you sure? This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, should it please you. Yo, homie's putting off some sus vibes for sure with that. That's funny. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back. You must be a hunter, and not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Okay, well, tell me more than explain. Like, bro, you gotta explain yourself. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. I bet. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum, you'll find the Cathedral Ward. Deep within lies the old main cathedral said to be the source of blood. I haven't heard of pale blood, but that's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. <coughs> All right. Well, that's what we'll have to do in the next episode. We'll have to go check it out and head towards the uh, church. If you guys enjoyed this, then please leave a like. It's a little bit short. That's fine. We're going to make this series work. Um... It's going to get harder, and there's going to be a lot more cutting. The beginning of this is just really easy. So, if you want to see more, smack that like button. If you also want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Peace and love, everybody. I will see you all next time. I'm out of here. Later.